the Celtic Speed Mini Cooper Cup race number one and let's see the guys on the grid Reed from Duncan Kyle Reed from John Duncan in front row of the grid with Dom Wheatley and Robbie Dalglish row number two newcomer David McNaughton alongside the hard charging Michael Weddle as we can see from the graphic there uh, a few returning drivers and a few drivers who have been long established stars in this championship but the red lights are already on the bridge let's see who gets to jump down to Duffus Dip we go on board with John Duncan on the front row of the grid and he's looking across because Kyle Reed gets the better start as they head down towards the first corner for the first time of asking three wide for second place Weddle's on the inside it's Wheatley actually on the inside and looks like Dom Wheatley might come away with that third place as we go through Leslie's in towards McIntyre's right on the bootlet of the number 20 Mini, John Duncan gets an eyeful of Kyle Reid. Now, Kyle, he's a bit of a serial mini winner. He has in the past won three in a row. Look how fast Kyle Reid goes through the Arnold Clark chicane there. Takes a lot of speed through there. And there's a bit of a shenanigans happening behind them. There's cars going absolutely everywhere. I believe that was Weddle. Somebody turned hard left at the top of the hill there. And that didn't look too handy. Let's hope everybody's made it through there and got away from the scene of that little bit of uh, excursion motorsport there. But we're on board with John Duncan here. Fabulous onboard shots as we head round towards the hairpin. Onto the brakes for that newly resurfaced hairpin. The car's finding this nice and grippy, even though it's a bit damp. Now, there's a yellow flag in the background that I saw there. Does that mean that we have a safety car? Yes, it does. There is a safety car out. Let's hope all the drivers realise the safety car's out. They'll now see the yellow flags and the safety car boards. So we must have lost somebody around the back of the circuit there. A quick recovery job for the recovery discovery. We'll get this Mini Cooper Cup race back underway, but yeah. A great start from Kyle, he got the jump there, John Duncan had slotted in nicely in the second place behind him and Dom Wheatley, the number four car there, in third place. And then looked a little bit strong out after that as he came through the Arnold Clark chicane for the first time of asking, so something could have happened down that twisty area. And it looked like it was Michael Weddle who came across the grass here as we saw a little bit of uh, his car going through the shot there. So we're on board with John Duncan here, has that safety car pulled in, there it is at the top of the travel, it turns to the right hand side of the track and we're back live now. Reed accelerates up the main street and look at the gap he's got. The cars are very spaced out. We're not a good restart by the guys at the front there. They've let themselves down a little bit there. Too much of a gap between the top guys and Kyle Reed already stretching away, just making sure the tyres are warm for the first time he fully commits to duff his dip. John Duncan fully commits as well. These are cracking on board shots. Just look at John working that mini going through Leslie's in towards McIntyre's. Got to say, nice smooth hands here, John. 10 out of 10 for that one. Doesn't look like he's overdriving that car at all. It looks like a bit of a walk in the park for John there, but a very, very fast walk in the park at that as everybody comes through that tricky Arnold Clark chicane, getting a little bit close to the edge of the track there. Dropping a wheel off into the gravel track. Got to watch that doesn't turn you sideways and spit you back into the tyre wall on the inside half of the back straight, but round towards the hairpin we come. Everybody's staying tight towards the left-hand side of the circuit, trying to pick up a toe. Not the easiest thing to do, and John Duncan sizing up Kyle Reid on the brakes here. Is he thinking about it? Mill, he maybe is thinking about it, but look, the track's damp there offline. So if anybody wants to go past the leader or past somebody, they're going to have to go offline, and we've got another safety car. So the Mini's providing a lot of action here at Knockout Racing Circuit, making sure everybody sees that there's somebody making a bid for the pit lane there, maybe just trying to avoid the car in front, which is slowing down for that safety car. Sometimes it can be difficult to see flags and boards, but that's why these drivers are race drivers. They should have their wits about them, trying to spot safety car stuff when you're in the heat of the moment, though. Yes, I've been there myself, and it's not the easiest. So another safety car, the race is once again neutralised. We'll get that dealt with and out the way. And as they come back into the hairpin, look again, Kyle has got a nice jump on the guys at the front. And it's uh, John Duncan still in a good second place there as they come up the main street. But Don Wheatley, look at the gap between John Duncan and Don Wheatley. Don Wheatley needs to get that a little bit tighter on each restart if he possibly can. Because the top three, by the time they get down to this, and McIntyre's the next right-hander, it's an overtaking opportunity. And with that much of a gap between them, it's just not going to happen. As Kyle Reid, you can see him going through. McIntyre's now a little bit of understeer mid-corner it looked like from Kyle and we saw that from John Duncan's car looked like the back broke free then kind of snatched back at the front rolling through that new Arnold Clark chicane there a lot of the drivers have been saying to me that they think it's a big improvement the sausage curb's not as severe now so they can really throw the little mini at that corner and get through there as hard as they possibly can through Clark corner a great camera shot that you see the car's really working as they come over the crest of the hill there and somebody using a little bit too much of the track there was that Mike Coates here bouncing through the gravel Somebody overtaken over the damp patch, yep, locked up the inside, banged into the car that was next to him there. It was that Michael Weddle and David McNaughton there. 
that was a little bit of a, a shame there. Look, trying to overtake on the wet patch is never going to work, and then using the other car as a, a bit of a berm, as we would say in motocross, to get through the corner is never the ideal thing. However, all's fair in love and war. Those guys can sort that back out in the paddock, or I'm pretty sure the stewards, Steve Burns, glad to the course, might sort it out for them. Let's go back on board. We're looking at John Duncan through Butcher's big, big compression here. I and mean, when you're sitting in the race car, they're coming up to that Arnold Clark chicane. You can see absolutely nothing apart from sky. That's what you're looking at. David Slay fires through shot there. Great to see David back into the championship. Not just a team owner, former champion. And well, will we see David Slay win a race this year? That shall be pretty exciting and pretty interesting. The guys now heading round, guys and girls, now heading round towards the hairpin. And is Kyle Reid starting to put a little bit of gap between him and John Duncan? Is he controlling this? It looks like he is. I've got to say, this is an unusual car to him as well. It's his brother's car, it's Chris Reid's car. Kyle's car, not at this meeting. It's uh, getting ready for British Championship duties. And look at this, Robbie Dalgleish now right under the back bootlid of the man who's in third place. That was Don Wheatley. So Don Wheatley's under all sorts of pressure. As up the main straight, Ian Munro on the inside trying to get a position made and is that Mike Coates? Mike Coates is going to have to give that up, he's going to have to give that up and he's going to do himself more harm than good there. Yep, Monroe, a uh, seasoned campaigner, goes through and up the inside at the top of Duffus. It's a, it's a brave overtaking manoeuvre, Duffus, because it's not much of a break. And also, Robbie Dalgleish has got ahead there. Yeah, Robbie Dalgleish got ahead there. Now, where's Monroe? Yeah, Monroe comes through now. I had to hold my breath there. I thought maybe I lost Ian Monroe. Don Wheatley has slipped back a position to the hard-charging Robbie Dalgleish in that all-red car. Again, round to the hairpin. John Duncan, nice relaxed grip on the steering wheel. You can see him flexing his hands there. He's getting ready to hit that brake pedal in the middle. You see him hit the brake pedal. And then we jump back to the camera at the side of the track and up the main straight they go. Look like they're maybe pulling away a little bit from Robbie Dalgleish. But I've got to say, John Duncan doing a cracking job here at keeping Kyle Reid honest. I, I kind of thought Kyle may have disappeared into the distance, but it's not to be. Kyle has got enough of a buffer not to be driving defensive but he cannot afford to make any kind of slip-ups. If he does, John Duncan will be on him. And that's a guarantee that one of the ALM cars, it was that David McNaughton maybe in a little bit of trouble after that contact at the hairpin with Michael Weddle. As the guys all make their way down towards Duffy's Dip, side-by-side -side battles all the way down the field here as well. These minis have been around for 15 years now, this championship, and we've got a slippery surface or a debris flag at the top of Duffy's Dip there. And now Kyle looks like he's starting to put a little bit of gap between himself and John Duncan just started to eke out the gap, which is so important here at Notcom Racing Circuit because he's probably seen the hard charge and Robbie Dalgleish coming up behind them and the debris flag is now getting shown at the Arnold Clark chicane as well. And you can see that on the inside of the corner there, probably from an earlier incident when Michael Wero come through. And oh dear, oh dear, it's just not working for David McNaughton today. The front of the car dragging on the ground. He's been hit once at the airpin and then unfortunately running wide there. So a great addition to the championship is David McNaughton. We've got to say that. We look forward to seeing him through the course of this year progress and get faster and faster. Hannah Chapman as well, flying through our shot there in the Ram Tubular's car, car, number eight. Um, yeah, I don't think she can really see where she's going. That windscreen looks like it's been peppered either with mud or stones as Hannah comes down towards us now. That's bizarre. If that's a broken windscreen, Hannah's doing very good for even, <laughs> even being out there just now. As we tick off the laps, here comes your leader through the Arnold Clash again, then John Duncan, and look at Robbie Dalgleish as well, he's on it, and Don Wheatley's not with this either. We've got to say, David Slay, David Slay will be needing some oxygen after this, he's trying very, very hard, and he's not far off the back of these front guys. A welcome addition again to the championship, as I said, former champion David Slay, a man who knows how to win races, and his brother Tim Slay used to be a very dominant force in this championship. As we go back into the hairpin, you can see the nice dry line through the hairpin there. You can see that wet patch on the inside, which Michael Weddle got caught out on and unfortunately slammed into the side of David McNaughton as one of the other David Slay cars here, the DSR car up and say, was that Mike Coates? It was rather weird and orthodox light to be taken. Didn't look like he was going to make an overtaking manoeuvre, but maybe something happened on the brakes on the way in. I don't know about in the commentary seat here. As we see the one, two, three passes, then four, then five, David Slay. Again, back on board with John Duncan. These onboard shots really are fabulous. You can see a mini driver at work around Knock Hill, and you can see how much Kyle has now gapped John. He's put a bit of a gap in there. Earlier on in the race, we were right underneath the bootlet of that number 20 car. And that's just a couple of tenths of a second a lap. That's all that is. So these guys lapping very, very similarly. And to be able to put a consistent race together is absolutely key in one of these mini races because a missed gear, run wide at a corner, it really does hurt you. It lets somebody catch you so much and all that hard work that you've put in as a racing driver can be gone through one tiny little error. 
as the number 20 car comes in and you can see the back wheel of it just lifting off the ground, the inside back wheel. Nice tight chassis on that car as he makes his way up the main straight, up towards a very well-deserved checker flag. It's going to be a win for Kyle. It's second place for John Duncan. Robbie Dalgleish comes home in a fabulous third. He'll be delighted with that one ahead of John Wheatley and David Slate as well. David Slate is going to be absolutely chuffed to bits with that, getting a top five. And the rest of the runners all come through now. But that really was all about the man in number 20, Kyle Reid. Brilliant start to the year for Kyle. Let's hope he does a full season because he has had these seasons where he's done bits and bobs. But here's your winner from John Duncan, Robbie Dalgleish, Don Wheatley, David Slay, Douglas Simpson in sixth place with Ian Monroe, Michael Wero, Craig Dillon and Ashley Morris.